Yeah, we didn't have that rule. We went, we my friend's dad took us, uh, Mr. Mike, and I was scared to death of Mr. Mike. I'd have never cursed in front of him. I don't curse in front of Mr. Mike now. That motherfucker's scary. Mr. Mike, who's Mr. Mike? My friend Michael Barnum's uh dad. Okay. Scary man. You Very still, scary man. You saw are you not, like still know people from when you were a kid? Like you still have I have the same my ex wife was just like clowning me about this for some reason. I have the same friend group. What's basically from like first grade. Did they, did they go to Central? Some of them did go to Central. Like half of them went to Central. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I have I have all the same friends. Some some have fallen off. But you know what happens when you keep the same friend group? You guys don't see each other as much. Y'all just are all in the same group message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, guys yeah. hang out like maybe once yeah. a month. Yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. But I don't see. I see all of y'all way more than I see my fucking childhood friends. Well, what's cool is my buddy Keith is like doing comedy now, and we were like best friends in like sixth grade and shit. Oh and shit, then, nice! And then now he's like back in my life. It's like, oh, that's cool. I, shit. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should get all my homies to do comedy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, guys, guys that are actually funnier than me in real it's life. It's nice to see come him. do comedy. Yeah. <laughs> you know Keith, to... right? You met him one time, I think, right? We're, I don't know. We were all drunk the one time. I was like, this was my best friend when I was a kid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did meet him. He's oh, he does dude. comedy. I guess I don't know how often, but he like shows up. He acts this. like he does in conversation. Yeah, 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 he yeah, yeah. Like he, he acts like he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time we were hanging out. We were just going to see our whole thing when we were kids was we would go see all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. That was like our thing because we were like nice. little kids, and it was like a big deal to go to the movie theater by ourselves. Like mm-hmm. we we're like te- like twelve. We we're like, oh shit, we're gonna go see Pirates of the Caribbean. And then I remember one time we came back up the hill. And we were uh, at a 7-Eleven, and there was this, like, 40-year-old dude screaming in the parking lot, and he was, like, throwing shit around, and Keith looked me in my eyes, he was like, we gotta fight him. Yeah. I was like, what? He was like, doesn't the night ever hit you, and you just want to fight? <laughs> I was like, no, actually. <laughs> that never happens to me. Plus, we're 12. We would get fu- That dude would fuck us up, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Y'all were kids? He'd have yeah. destroyed y'all. He would have beat the fuck out of us. <laughs> He'd have destroyed y'all and then took y'all back to the lair, <laughs> yeah, and y'all yeah. have been stuck there. Yeah, well, he had Jack Sparrow blood in him. He was ready to go. Damn, bro. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> yeah. I've had that thought, like, being out before, like, yo time to fucking get in a fight but then a the moment i'm like all right who i'm gonna fight i'm always like nah you might scrape your elbow or something bro you see what i'm saying you might he might he might like slam you or some shit you might actually yeah. hurt yourself yeah what if you smack your funny boat on a table or something yeah yo i don't want to get scrapes and bruises bro <laughs> dude that's your biggest fear yeah yo you fucking your funny boat. Oh, I'm <laughs> fucking. You're like, ah, that's the worst kind of pain <laughs> that, that is the worst capacitate you in a fight though you know what's funny it would this is un- kind of unrelated but that cracked me up because today i give a tour and at the end of the tour i try to keep my is pretty uh, apolitical because I don't know who I'm going to offend. Like, true. If you say something too liberal, people get mad. If you say something too conservative, people get mad. So I just, I just hit the hits. You know what I mean? And I just keep it very neutral where I'm like, this thing happened here. I'm not trying to talk about my opinions mm-hmm. of it. But uh, this guy like cornered me and he was like, see, that's the problem with the border. And I was like, what? He was like, all these fucking immigrants are coming in here and they're not going to know this history. And I was like, that's your concern? Hey, what? You <laughs> idiot? <laughs> they're going to come in and be like, I don't know where the declaration is. Hey, what the fuck? Like, who gives a Who shit? gives a fuck about that? <laughs> yeah. You know how many normal, natural born <laughs> yeah, Americans like, don't know what that What the shit? fuck? Yeah. The fuck like, is he talking about? Yeah, and I just went, it's a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit. Shavis, Sh- 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 you be doing your tours. <laughs> and you be like, yeah, so this was a final stop of the Underground Railroad. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I don't know. You is it a judge. bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, should there still be slaves? Maybe. It was or a maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crisis. It was definitely Just a slave crisis. Just play in the crisis. middle of everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, beautiful. I'll be like, they're like, I'm like, it was definitely different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, was different it was definitely, definitely different. different. <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> oh, you can use it. it was definitely different for everything. <laughs> it was definitely different, bro. Somebody gets off stage and they bomb like, yo. So like, what you think, bro? It was definitely it was different, de- bro. <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> different. It was definitely different. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yo, yeah. That's what you should do. You should. I, I don't like to fuck with people when they actually bomb, but if somebody kills, I will do some shit like that. A hundred percent. I'll be like, you get them next time. Yeah. We were just saying we're gonna stop giving um. False compliments, like we gonna stop doing the yo good shit. Like me, Drew, we, me, Drew, and Rob was talking about. We like it's a rap for that. It's a yeah. rap for it's a rap for be. yo. Because how do we get better? Yeah, really? you no. told me to start doing that. I used to not do it. 
Yeah. People will start not liking you. People do start not liking you. Why? But that's what you were new to town, bro. You can't come into town. You can't come into a new place. Like, you know what? I'm not giving any fake daps. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't do that, bro. That's a nuts way to introduce yourself to people. You gotta start out being fake. And then as once everybody knows you, you can be like, all right, I'm keeping it real now. Yeah, you gotta keep it real. Yeah, mm-hmm. how are you doing, Ben? I feel like Philly's been really mean to you, dude. You've had a rough time. Lately, you, you started out great. Yeah. It seemed like you started out, everybody embraced you, and now there's some I wasn't personally feeling like this. <laughs> We just put some new shit in his head. It was definitely different, dude. It was definitely different. <laughs> definitely different. His life was definitely, definitely different. Definitely different. Before, Philly. before, <laughs> it was definitely different. Different now. now. I'm still feeling beloved. I feel like, but yeah, like yeah. Not. No, no, no. I know. You just have. You've had a rough string of luck. That's all. It seems more like you don't like people. That's really what happened. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I, I don't know. I used to like. Well, first of all, most of the people that I liked stopped really going out to open mics, and now it's just a bunch of new people that like. I don't really feel like getting to know. Yeah. There's a lot of new, new people that I'm like, I don't know who the fuck these it's people are. It's all new people. Bro, can I tell you, going in the 700, I don't know who this guy is, but I heard him outside. Uh, we're not recording yet, are we? Or are we? Yeah. We are? Shit. Don't say his name. Well, he was like, I'm fucking, he was like, I'm fucking crushing everybody at this mic every week and I'm not getting anywhere. And I was like, shut the fuck oh, up. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know what the context was, so. That guy's an idiot. Yeah. And you know what he, what he did right there? That wasn't a fact, what he said to you. It wasn't a fact. Not a fact. And you know what we do here, Seamus? Only facts. And Ayo, actually, we do facts. <laughs> Nothing but We do facts. things that are true and provable through science, bruh. That's all we do here. No bullshit. No fucking fake depths. No fucking fake opinions about how you crush every mic that you go to, bruh. Yeah, yeah. Right here is only realness. And to my very, very, very far left, I have been stopped. Thank you, the one, the only, Mr. Ali, everybody. Please put your hands together. Mm, thank you so much. The all-knowing, the all-powerful. But today we have a very special guest. Live in studio, adult baby, Seamus Millar. Hey. What's up? I'm wearing my big diaper today. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I really wish I had worn pants to this. I hate this fucking short shit. Yeah, everybody right, here it hates is. it too, man, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll I, deal with listen. it. <laughs> we can edit it in post. Yeah, we'll please. You, we'll just grab a pair of pants for you. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> right. Put a green screen pants on me right give now. Give me some long socks. Want. Yeah, you know? <laughs> give me some long socks. Yeah, whatever you need to do. Just make it look better. Mm-hmm. This shit looks rough. But yeah, you but spend you spend your days educating Philadelphia. On, I work outside, so what can I do? On yeah. history, yeah. you I, teach a lim- you show <laughs> you show illegal immigrants around. Yeah, I say I say I work outside, so it sounds way more manly than me just walking around talking about history. Where I'm like, no, nah, I'm in the back breaking sun all day, dude. I fucking yeah, I just walk around and talk about shit. So I talk about facts, just like you this talk show. about so facts. This is great, that's yeah. crazy. Oh, I walked by Shavis the other day, and um, he was like. It was me and Colin, and then he was with his tour people. And he was like, "Boo these guys! <laughs> like, boo them!" Yo, and then, yeah. And then his tour was like, "What?" Like, what? <laughs> yeah, they you didn't told go with tour it. To they, they, yeah, and they didn't, which sucked. I was like, that, I got mad when I'm like, "Why can't you just be fun? Just come out and be fun." Yeah, just boo people when I tell you to boo the people. The fuck? Yeah, you I already convinced you. I know where things are because I told you not to go to Pasadena. So yeah. I don't trust me. I know these people. But I was thinking about it because, like, to them, they have no idea that you even know me. And then to them, oh, you they were should like, start your tours yeah. out by. You should start your tours out like that. Like, all right, so listen, now we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have this is gonna be a nice tour. But when I tell you to boo a person, yes, you have, you have to, to boo listen them. to me. Yes, you Yo, have to. Can I tell you the it's like a cartoon, the way I shelter these people from the truth of the city today, my first stop, no joke, my first stop, they're all looking at me, and I'm there for like 10 minutes. Behind me, behind them, on this hill, was this fucking fat homeless dude with his whole ass out. His Ew. whole ass was out. He was like digging in his ass and shit. I was just like, so William Penn, he, and I'm like, try, <laughs> and I'm like trying to be like, focus on me. Don't look behind you. Don't, yeah, look, behind look, you. Over Don't there. look behind you. Right. We saw a guy smoking crack one time. Like, we see some shit, and I just try to like... Be like, nah, don't look over. Like, <laughs> hey, look over here. There's a big church over here coming up. Yeah. You got to start doing jumping jacks and cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I ring the bell, all eyes on me. Yeah. Something dangerous is happening. Damn, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's well, crazy. Keep the people sheltered. Keep the tourist sheltered. They all, they're like, we this. love it. It's so nice and clean here. I'm like, yeah, in this neighborhood. Mm. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah. Just in this area. Just in this area. And even this area is getting a little fucking grimy. So what are you going to do? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's expose some of our people to the facts. Yeah, to the cold hard truth. The whole cold hard truth. I started with some dark facts today. Oh, nice. Oh, brought, let's go, let's do it. Dark, mysterious. These are my favorite types of facts, but I try not to do those too much because it gets depressing. But I do like dark facts. It does get depressing. But all right, here's here's 
to start off with. Also, for, first and foremost, I apologize last week. Didn't say oh yeah actually before my facts. Everybody was pissed. <laughs> I'm never going to do it again. Yeah, Fred, never do that. I slipped up once, but it's been, what, 68 episodes? One episode, I fucked up. But you're the AOXE police. You're usually the guy that's policing everybody. Bro, I said, did you know? Like, what? Did you know? <laughs> What's happening? What do we got to change yeah. the name of the pod? <laughs> <laughs> All right. AO actually, did you know that baby ducklings, when bored, resort to cannibalism? That's what? So they just immediately start eating each other? Yeah, if they're not like, I guess like what, entertained enough or just not like stimulated enough? So not even if they're starving, just if they're bored. Yeah, they're just straight up bored. How bored do they have to be? <laughs> yeah, what like how, mean? Yeah. how much time, right, like, like how long into boredom do they, <laughs> does also, the cannibalism start? What what keeps them not bored? They're fucking ducks. What do they do all day that they're yeah. like, yeah, when they just don't have enough places to swim or something? They're like, time to eat my brother. Yeah, but, I mean, basically. Damn. That's crazy. And they're brand new things. You should be just excited about life. That's true. Don't take away my PS5, dude. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking I'll eat you, baby bro. baby duckling it, dude. I'll fucking I'll kill I'll fucking ass. eat you. You take <laughs> yeah, away my shit. Yeah. That is true. Because probably ducks back in the day used to just be entertained with, like, just one piece of bread for, like, hours. Hours. Like, ducks nowadays, man. Yeah. <laughs> ducks are <laughs> <laughs> Too much TikTok. So <laughs> yeah. Too all much these, TikTok, bro. All these iPad ducks, bro, you take yeah. their screen away, they start yeah. eating their yeah. <laughs> Damn, dog. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. No, but I was also looking into it. It's also, it's not just boredom. It could also be like, if you got too much light in there, like, if you're like raising baby ducks. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Probably okay. this is like just an inca- yeah, probably Yeah, yeah in just captivity. inside. Yeah. 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 Outside, they wouldn't do that. I know gerbils do that too, because my mom had, dude, at one point my mom had like 30 gerbils in one tiny gerbil cage. They <laughs> 80, they, and then there was like five of them left a couple Jesus. days later. Jesus. No, they t- it was horrible. I kept being like, can you just like do something about this? And my mom was like, I'm trying to teach you about life. It's gonna, <laughs> it'll sort itself out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was right. Yeah, it definitely she, sorted itself she, out. She, listen, they found a balance. <laughs> they found a balance. Damn. Yeah, yeah no. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Cannibalism is pretty rampant. Everywhere. Yeah, people eat people and uh, and animals like to eat each other, bro. Things yeah. like to eat things. They also crack into the eggs and eat the embryos. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, we all eat eggs. I, I can't really knock them for that. Can't knock them for that. We all like Damn. a good egg. I never had a duck egg, but I'm pretty sure it's not that different from a chicken egg. No, it's not. I think I have had a duck egg. It's a little bit different. Really? Is it is it slimier? I feel like the texture was different. Yeah, it was like weird. I didn't. The texture of duck meat is way. I don't like duck meat. Okay. It's like greasy as hell. Ew. Yeah, it's not a good thing. It's like you got snot on it. I had a kangaroo one time. I think. I could have been human for all I know. I was at a arts festival in Manchester, England. This guy was like. Hey man, you want kangaroo? And I was kind of drunk. I was like 21. I was like, sure, I'll eat kangaroo. And then I threw up the rest of the trip. Dude. Really? Yeah, I puked the whole. Yeah. Well, where the fuck did he get kangaroo in England? Yeah, you're not supposed to eat things that's. You're not supposed to eat shit that's uh by a pedal. You know what I'm saying? The, the shit stand up with yeah, two legs. Right. Yeah. Don't eat that shit, bro. Right. <laughs> what you doing? How you gonna eat, how you gonna eat a damn? You gonna eat a damn uh, but, tall rat? But also, you're crazy. What, I, what I'm saying is, he said it was kangaroo. It could have literally been. It could have been a person. It could have been people. I could have eaten somebody Ew. for all I know. Yeah. It could have been a. How was the? Was it like I a burger? Remember. I don't remember. I don't. What type of meat was it? I just a really steak? don't. Re- I don't remember anything, man. I think I was really drunk, and I was just like, "Yeah, whatever, man." Went in man. Rome, but I was in England uh, eating kangaroo. Yeah, eating kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ain't no kangaroos in England. That's what I'm saying. That's like, nuts. Where did he get that from? Yeah, where do you get kangaroo? The dark from? web. Probably. Yeah. If you start a religion, that should be part of your kosher diet, though. Kangaroo meat. No, you can't eat anything that's bipedal. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) you can. If that shit know how to stand up straight, don't eat it. (laughs) You can't eat anything that you could be in a boxing match. (laughs) Right. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yo, that's not right. Choke me out. Like, something that could fucking kill me. Hell yeah. That's nuts. And that's pretty tame. There's not many bipedal animals. No. What do you got? Apes and fucking kangaroos. And ducks, I guess. Oh, yeah, true. Those birds. But... Does that count though? Nah, birds don't count. You don't count birds in that. Yeah, they're not mam. Is it? It's not a mammal. No, well, they fly. They they walk on two feet. So you can't eat mammals that are bipedal. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. That's the new religion. Religion's falling apart <laughs> immediately. <laughs> it's too close to people. Yeah, it's too close. Um, Naim, are you the next factor? Do we go to Seamus? Let's let Seamus get one. Well, okay. So wait, let me look it up real quick because you uh, know what's uh, fucked up is no, no. I have. Sorry, I, I, oh, you're not sure come about on, your family. No, 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 no. So you so, just said I won't make the same mistakes as Lemaire. And, right. and then no. now it's no. The thing I'm stressed out. You about. already got the shorts on. Mistake number one. All right. Yeah. Then we can that, see your leg shaking because you're wearing shorts. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you're making me nervous. 
No, it's also a bird fact. That's why I got. Oh, cut nice. Off. Okay, is I like that. that. Okay? Yeah, I like bird facts. All oh right. yeah, Seamus was like, I'll bring animal facts. So like, I'm the animal. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the th- I already thought of it before you told me. So here's the thing, right? We got a backyard now. It's changing my life, and we've got these fucking. We got a bird house. Ayo, actually, did you know that house wrens are like the shittiest bird on the planet? They uh they will fill up nests that they don't even use, so other people can't use it, and then they will find other nests and just poke holes in the eggs to kill all the babies. You know what? That? Yeah, oh. they're they're like the most. They they yeah. This kills. So what they do is uh house wrens find a nest in another cavity near their own. They often enter the cavity while it's unoccupied and puncture the eggs. This kills the developing embryos and forces the intruders to nest again elsewhere. Sometimes they then remove the egg from the nest and drop it some distance away. What? So they will fill up other houses with sticks to be like don't live in my neighborhood and then if they see other shit they will fucking kill it actually a story we heard is one of our neighbors had one and there was a whole nest of like robins in the backyard or something yeah and it, the house friends went over and plucked all the baby's eyes out oh my god yeah, these things are yeah. evil as fuck they're, well. they're evil as shit they're like the assholes of the bird world yeah all right, but this is to this is to like lower competition right like this yeah, is so they're, they're doing like, it to survive damn. But, but it is like a bitch ass way to survive it's it like, is it's like the most they're just like the worst neighbors of all time like imagine being a human and you want your kids to thrive you like I'm just gonna poke out these other kids eyes <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. was just I was just sneak into the hospital and poke yeah. out all the babies up. Yeah, because and also they get really territorial. Like we think they moved into the birdhouse that my mom gave us, and we're afraid to go by it because they'll like dive by. Oh and shit. damn! <laughs> oh, those, they're those type of birds that like swoop. They're down not there. that crazy looking, but they they're, oh, yeah, they're, they're kind of cute. But bird. they're super fucking aggressive. Yeah, they're super. Yeah, aggressive. wait. Can you look up a picture of one? I think you got to make a house like um, yeah. I think you got to yeah. you, you got to build like a jigsaw type birdhouse. That they go in and it's like oh yeah, a bunch of booby <laughs> yeah, yeah. traps. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta they set up. Like, you gotta set up a false nest in front of your real nest somewhere so that they attack the false nest first. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. there. They are. They fly okay, in. There's poisonous fuckers. gas there. They have to oh yeah, that's a, that's a cute little and bird. And you wouldn't assume, right? But then they come. So in, unassuming. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> These yeah, motherfuckers these motherfuckers, come these motherfuckers in. pull up and <laughs> yeah. get dirty yeah, on you, dog. They, they don't fuck around. Start dude. poking holes in your eggs. Yeah, yeah, that's nuts. We've been finding like little robin's eggs and shit like all over the yard because they fucking because they poke holes in it and then they can get this shit out of here and they throw it. Yeah, that's that bird does crazy. seem like it would hold like an AK forty seven or like a BLM <laughs> <Yeah>. protest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. look at this little guy. He causes so much ruckus. Yeah. Well, you know what? They look like they're very easy, probably to eat. Like you just yeah, grab like like a, them bigger, a bigger, a bigger bird, bird probably probably eat that. Yeah. yeah, so they have to do like sneaky shit. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's fucking Napoleon. I complex. didn't really know. I thought cuckoo birds were the only ones that really come out and ruin other people, other birds' days. Yeah, I knew about the cuckoo birds. What yeah. do they do? They'll, they just tear shit up too. Um, no, they'll push like the eggs out and then lay eggs in a nest, so and then the, so the other, other one raises, raises it for. Them. Oh, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, that actually was a fact on here. Damn. When yeah, isn't that crazy? That's they crazy. Don't even, they don't even incubate their own eggs. They kick the other That's eggs up. That's fucked up. Isn't that yeah. crazy? And then these new eggs are born, and the mom's like, wait, what the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What type of bird They're is like, this? We got to go get some cigarettes. They just leave them. They just leave them there. <laughs> <laughs> they never see them again. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my bird fact. Bet. All right, well, let me do a fact. Let me get one. Excellent bird fact, Seamus. Excellent Thank bird Thank fact. You, like it a lot. Uh, just let you know, you are welcomed here, and you shouldn't feel nervous anymore. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm just mostly worried about the big diaper I'm wearing. That's all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have another fan fact from ZZ Zombie three three four four five five six. Thank you, ZZ Zombie. Hey, yo, actually, although alimony dates back to the code of Hammurabi in some way, modern alimony is based on religious courts in England where divorce was illegal and men had to support wives while separated. The U.S. adopted this practice and because of women not... Can we scroll down some? Is that it? No, no. no. Uh-oh. Because women were not allowed to own property or work, um, so it was the responsibility of the former spouse to support her. The practice continued into modernity in favor of women due to women choosing to forego education and careers to support family. So... Alimony is yeah. some religious shit it's that bullshit. was left over into modern times because back in the day, women couldn't own shit, right? But now that's just not fair because let's say your wife is killing it. What if your wife's killing it? But you just make slightly more, you make a little bit more money to her. Then you get divorced and now you got to still support her, although she already can own a house, own a car, I have would, a job. I genuinely don't know any guy that is making more than their girl right now. I don't eat. Well, <laughs> the only people I do know are like my uncles. Yeah. 
I don't know anybody our age that's making more than but a girl. But modern time, I think women do get paid more. Well, you know what? You they've, may be right. they've adapted to the office, man. Mm -hmm. They're polite. They can sit there and do that. You know how like little kids, like you know, the boys are like, oh, they're vibrating because they yes. can't sit still. I think general, in general, women can probably do that better than guys can. That's so, why more so, of them graduate from college so now. They because they can these... sit still and be in class yeah. all day like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I got to be outside. Yes. I got to work in the back breaking sun. <laughs> I got to work in the sun. I got to work in the Give sun. Give it tours, I got to move. <laughs> but no, you're right. Because like, even with like college, right? Like, so I, when I first was like, all right, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be an accountant. I'm like, hey, I'm going to be a CPA, too, so I got to get my master's. Bro, the moment I got my bachelor's degree, I was like, I'm not ever going back to school. <laughs> why, the fuck, why the fuck would I keep going? Now, women, most women go to grad, most women go to graduate school, bro. If they graduate from, if they do an undergrad at some point later on in life, they like, you know what? I'm going back. Damn. Or they do it right afterwards. Go get a master's. My sister got a fucking master's. You see what I'm saying? She's in school now for a doctor. True. But look at me. Never going back to school. Ever again. I'm done with it. And why would you? Mm-hmm. But- we still have to pay them alimony if we made more money. I wonder if you could argue religiously that, you know, like I. That's against my religion. I yeah. can't pay alimony. Does it not work the other way around? Can you not be like, I, I grew accustomed to a certain type of lifestyle? No, I'm sure it works the other way with rich ass women. I was too. being treated like a prince. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm a sure. Pauper. If yeah, hell yeah. If your girl's <laughs> killing it. I still need soup on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yo. I can't live without the clam chowder. <laughs> yeah, if your girl's killing it. <laughs> that you definitely could get out. Maybe woman alimony should be like, bitch, you gotta come over here and cook it clean. I still did sex. <laughs> <laughs> come to my house. You give me no goddamn money. Just come yeah. over here and cook for me. <laughs> All I've got is one chair and a blow up mattress. I need you to come decorate my Come apartment. decorate. I don't know how to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to take care of me. I don't know how to choose furniture, <laughs> lady. It's so hard. Bro, my apartment <laughs> sucks, dude. I put, I, I put one poster on the wall with a thumbtack, dude. I need help. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Buy me a frame. <laughs> Buy me something Bro, framed. It's crazy because like, me and my girl broke up and you don't realize all the little accessories they buy bro i'm like damn this shit this place looks like a fucking it looks like a fucking prison dude my apartment's yeah. like a prison it's a tv a bed yeah a couch a chair one table bro you see yeah. what i'm saying that's <laughs> yeah. it yeah. yeah women always talk about like um it's a serial killer tree if you don't have anything on the walls but then like Someone that lives like Jeff Jeffrey Dahmer just had like shrines of skulls. He did, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, like, serial killer men decorate. They do. Yeah, you know I mean, normal oh, yeah, they men do. just don't put anything up. Yeah, because well, I mean, what are we, what are we doing? And I'm barely ever home anyway. I'm barely there. I literally go there to sleep, bro. Yeah. What am I doing? What it's am I decorating? It's like a save point. Yes, it's a loading it. screen. It is a loading screen. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I treat it like Grand Theft yeah. Auto. Yeah. I just go there to save the game and wake up <laughs> and start over. Yeah, you, you, you change your outfits and that's yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> That's where I go to customize my character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's it. <laughs> like, it's crazy, dog. Yeah, so I need some alimony. You know I mean? Come yeah. hook me up, lady. Come decorate my house. I agree. Wait, I think it continues. Or does it not continue? The fact? Um, it does, but we don't need to know about what the Supreme Court said in 1979, because all they basically said was, you got to pay this shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. My uncle has to pay alimony, and alimony technically is supposed to be, it's not, I don't think it's alimony in Pennsylvania, but my uncle got married to his wife in Cali, so it fucked him. He got, they got married in California. Oh, and so, so we have to pay more mm -hmm. alimony in California. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, so he has to pay alimony. It's depending on where you get married? Yeah, because it's not here. Like, they don't have alimony in PA. Oh. They don't? They don't? No. You're oh, fine here. Yeah, we don't have to pay that shit. Okay, cool. Philadelphia freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, fuck that. That's crazy. Is that because we were all about religious freedom here? Because we were like- Yeah, the Quakers, bro. Yep. Do, that, do, do as you please. <laughs> You're That's, a fucking Quaker, man. Look at I'm, so, I'm Quaker. Ah, I'm he's sorry. He's a Quaker. <laughs> no, that's it. Um, you know yeah, oh, actually- no, I'm do, sorry. do you have a fact about Quakers? Yeah, man. Ao, actually, did you know Quaker was originally a derogatory term? Ooh, really? Yeah, it yeah. sounds like a derogatory term. Yeah. So the whole thing is they they basically say like anybody can come and sit quiet. So what they do is they don't have regular church services. They sit in silence. They do silent prayer and meditation. If you want to stand up and talk, you can. Uh, and so anybody can jump in, but people hated that because what they were basically saying is they don't need a priest to have a direct connection to God. And that right. upset a lot of people that like had institutional power and mm -hmm. shit. So, uh, yeah, they started calling them Quakers cause they were making fun of the fact that they would sit in silence and then stand up. They're like, that's quaking you bitch. Yo, quaking. that's crazy. Yeah. But Wait, now why it's is that on, quaking. 
because they were like you're sitting in silence and you're rising to speak you're quaking you're like you're getting like fucked up by god or something i don't know it was Mm. they just made fun of it they got real fucking yeah they would get tortured yeah the crazy thing is when they were coming over from england they were fleeing like persecution in england and they came to like uh new england up in boston and shit and the puritans were arresting them off the boat how fucking salty is that that's salty you take a long ass boat ride just to get locked up and then they're like yeah you're going right to prison dude and we're gonna like cut your fingers off and shit (laughs) yeah yeah, they used to fuck them up. Yeah. Yeah, people were too serious about religion back then. I know. And Quakers never hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah I thought Quakers believed in like peace and. Yeah, Quakers. Chill that's out. why they didn't like them because they said because they got rid of slavery before anybody else. True. They were like, we can have women in power, and guess what? We're not going to get involved in any wars. And they were like, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> they yeah. Hated that shit. Yeah. So it was Quakers versus the Crackers. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> They're called the Religious Society of Friends. That's what they call themselves. That's why you see friend schools. Yeah, friends Germantown you know, friends. Yeah. My sister went there. GFS. You went to GFS. At her graduation, you, you got to be dead quiet. That's what's the you're inside of the, yeah, a you're inside a meeting yeah. hall. Yeah. And, and they tell you when you walk in there, there's no there's no applause. There's no speaking. And you're just sitting there like this the whole graduation. But you know, my family, hood to the motherfucker, bro. They was in there with <laughs> that signs. Is hilarious. Ah, nah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> For the graduation? Yep. The usher walked over there like, uh, excuse me, can you, can you guys please stop? My mom looked her dead in the face. Looked, looked her dead in the face. She's like, no, we're not stopping. She was like, my baby graduated. I'm like, damn. I just went to my sister's graduation and I tried to match the level with the black families and I couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> bro. So they got, and they spread out. You guys spread out the whole, like, you all sit together. Yes, because the whole family comes. But like, every they said everywhere? Yeah, they said like from all. Like, they you can't sit I mean? you like, all together, and some of those people don't even got tickets, bro. Some of them people snuck in. They wouldn't even put the beat there. You only get buff- so many tickets for the graduation. <laughs> I was pissed, dude. I wanted I would have like the full on thing, man. But mm-hmm. we only had like a small section. I didn't know you got to spread out. You got to spread out. You got to cover all your your bases, bro. <laughs> yeah, just you try to compete with a whole room of black people, <laughs> just running from side <laughs> to side. <laughs> bro, you just told <laughs> a story about that like two seconds. What are ago. you talking about? <laughs> huh, I got punch- into an accidental fight. That was my problem. Punchline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my fact. <laughs> All right. But, um. <laughs> All right. What you got? My fact? Mm-hmm. Another dark fact. Another dark and mysterious fact. All right. Wait, wait. Go to, go to Ben Fix. All right. All right. That's it. Um, AO, actually. A university in the Netherlands offers purification grave surfaces, services where you can lie in a grave for a while just to reflect upon life. Mm, so they, just have a, they just have a couple open graves that you get to just lay there and think in. Yo, I've heard of that before. Yeah. But, it's not, but it wasn't, it's some other type of spiritual people that do some some same shit like this. But they, except they put you inside a casket. They don't put you in a grave. Okay. They, they put you in a casket so you can like think about life. That's the most dramatic thing you can That's ever so do. dramatic. <laughs> I would hate to find out that any of my friends did it. Or like, imagine like your dad doing some <laughs> shit like that. Bro, you lose all there? respect for him. Oh, wait. And then. So they put you in a casket so you can think about life, and then and then you reborn. Coming out of the casket? No, no, like they have like this ceremony where it's like <laughs> it's like oils and shit, and it's like a, and it's like ladies like massaging you, yeah, like you being like you coming out of a womb the again. The rebirthing ceremony. Oh my yeah, it's god, a dude! Ceremony. What the? Fuck? It's rich white people. They shit. lubricate you and have you come out a giant pussy. Yeah, yo, they do. I think we watched a video of it. <laughs> we did watch a video of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we watched a video of that just, shit. Naeem's family in the crowd is going crazy, dude. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby, <laughs> bro. Yeah, but it's so cringy. It is. It's cringy as hell to see that shit. It's like, why are y'all doing it? And it's like, I bet you that shit costs like three hundred grand a session. I bet you. That is weird. It's just man. a bunch of rich white ladies doing it, laying in the casket, crying. Just do like, some drugs, man. What the fuck? At that point, come yeah, on. right. Do some shrooms. Yeah. Get some ego death and stop fucking role playing as a corpse. Or <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so stupid. <laughs> this is dumb as fuck, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah oh, I don't know what you could possibly yeah. figure out in there that you can't figure out. Oh, yeah. I'm cor- I mean, yeah, because you already know where you're <laughs> fucking up at, at in life, bro. Laying in the grave ain't going to open up some new thing like, oh, I, I, I'm definitely not living. I need to stop cheating on my wife. You, you knew that already, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, stop you, think you, are, you think your Ebenezer Scrooge? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's crazy. That is nuts. That is Damn. Nuts. This, yeah, come on, yo. You don't got to lay in a grave to figure out life. It also sucks to walk out of the grave and not have figured out anything. <laughs> they're like, yeah. how, how was the experience? Like, it was crazy, man. Yo, right. You, you get out the grave, they're like, so what did you discover? He'd be like, I'm being way too nice to people. I got to start being meaner. <laughs> I'd be like, what? That's funny. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? You gotta be meaner to everybody. I'm That's my, my problem. Reverse Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. 
give me that shit back. <laughs> he's like taking taking from the poor. Yeah, that, that, that would be so funny if Scrooge came back to the present. He's like, Christmas doesn't even exist in the future. Yeah. Like, <laughs> shit, you're wasting your time. God's a waste of time. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you don't reflect on life inside of a grave. Reflect on life when you just a normal person walking around. Yeah. Or right. do it when I do it. When I, sometimes I drive to nothing. I drive no music. No podcast, just driving with my thoughts, bro. You, know what I'm you got to do that. Mm -hmm. I think it's, your car is really the only time you have to think. It is. That's why I don't understand anybody that lives without a car. Yeah. It's, well, you know what? I used to like taking the train um, when I worked in Center City because I could read books. That was the only time I would read. Yeah, I That's read a lot. That's the only time I would yeah. read is on regional rail. Other than that, I'm not reading, bro. I always see people get mad about Book, like books on a train they're like you're not even reading you're just pretending to read like what <laughs> i don't know why people get so salty yeah about people it. don't like it i don't know why like you said they're looking at a book what do you think he's doing somebody said that to you no you just see that online or yeah, people really say, yeah that's the it. thing people think that people are just like trying to appear smart <laughs> <laughs> no, you just want to look like you're smart you're reading you're you're fake reading like who does that you know, people, you know, some, I, you know, I, I fake, I, I fake had a, a phone conversation because the person next to me kept talking to me Nice. I've done that. Yeah. I've done that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I've done that. But on the train, somebody's like, yeah, so uh, where do you work? Where are you headed? And I'm like, oh, I'm headed here. And they just won't stop. It's like, oh, wait, hold on, I got a call. Yeah, hello. Nobody's on that phone, bro. Mm -hmm. I do that constantly. Yeah. But, bro, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> like, really? Yeah. I just woke up. Don't talk to me first thing in the morning. I feel like you get into arguments on your fake phone calls. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> to keep like, it realistic. <laughs> you got to. You know? <laughs> it got to be. Uh, it has to be a problem. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this shit. <laughs> Yo, you just start you screaming so then the person gets up and moves seats. Yeah, yeah yo, you gotta fight them. You gotta fight. You can't let someone talk to you like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, Seamus, you got another one? Yeah, I got another one. Uh, the problem with this one, though, is I, I don't know how to pronounce this shit, but uh, I'm gonna try my I've best. I've had here. many effects like that. Okay, all right, all right. So, AO, actually, are you guys aware that in ancient Rome they would use these things called terrasoriums? Uh, which were basically uh, communal sponges that they would wipe their asses with. Are you familiar with this? What? No. So they would have these. Uh, Ew. Yeah, so it was a hygienic utensil used by ancient Romans to wipe themselves after using the bathroom. It was a sponge attached to the end of a stick, often made from a Mediterranean sea sponge. After use, the, the stick would be rinsed with water, vinegar, and or salt water, and then left for the next person to use. Ugh. Yeah, so they would basically, it was like in these communal bathhouses, they would have like these open shitters that everybody would sit down, and they would just share these fucking sticks and they were like i don't know why disease is killing right <laughs> y'all wipe your ass with the same sponge yeah, and sponges yeah. have so many crevices Dude, in them they're so <laughs> you they're, can't get all the fucking shit out of what's they're, so, disgu they're gonna, so disgusting looking going on, on vacation with your friend a robe and he's like well what did robe you do as yeah, oh, right. <laughs> like, bro, yeah. get that mediterranean sea sponge away. bro this is what they looked like that's what they looked like ew yeah literally like can the we, most disgusting yeah, yeah, we, we, bring gotta, up a we gotta show the people yeah can we what is it called let the people see the mediterranean t-e-r-s-o-r T E R S O R, a terso, I, O U, no I U M. Yeah, wait, there they are. Wait, what's that word? A terra. It's also called a xylospongium. A tesorium. A spongia. Ah, oh, ew! That's just going in your ass. Yeah, after yeah. Some, but bro, all those everybody's holes, ass. It's going to everybody's, everybody's ass. ass. Yeah, everybody's sharing that. Yeah, look Jesus. at all those. Yeah, look at all those communal fucking shitters. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Yeah. Ew! So you you might be using it immediately after somebody else just used it just now. This exactly, isn't like hours exactly. later. No, no, no. Yeah, they would like rinse it off. It's a little just bit, wet like, from somebody else rinsing it off, and then you take it and yeah. put it right in your ass. Oh, God. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's so funny to think because like people were like, "Yeah, the Roman Empire. They really knew what they were doing." It's like, well, you know, they had some fun stuff. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, they they all drank out of lead, and they put. <laughs> yeah. They all use the same terrasorium. Terrasorium. Tessarium. I think xylospongium sounds cooler. Actually. I like xylospongium. Yeah, xylospongium. <laughs> Damn, bro, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, isn't that gross? They're like, uh, oh, clean that out. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, yeah. I would want to travel back in time to those times, and I, I'm not. I wouldn't. I would never get all the way out of the time machine because they're not about to fucking enslave me, bro. But I'm a. I just want to stick my head out and just catch a whiff. Can you imagine yeah. how bad it smelled back then? Everywhere you went, just shit and piss and dead bodies and. 
the bitches that have their periods just bleeding in the street, bro. Just fucking disgusting yeah. things. Dude, Philly Philly doesn't have a, a fucking sewer system until the ni- uh, 1800s. Damn. So during the revolutionary period, it was so fucking gross. Just period. disgusting. Yeah, I just want to just oh, yeah, stick my head out and take out a whiff. Yeah, just throwing shit Some and piss. Would, and then they had privy pits. Like uh, Ben Franklin has a privy pit in his backyard, which is basically like you'd have like a kind of like a bathroom today, but it'd be a chute that would come out and you would throw all your trash and shit in there. It'd be right outside your house and you just put a lid over it. It's just like a big well. That you would fill up with all your shit. Well, does it can it eventually get filled all the way up? I think so, because there were two in his backyard. Oh, uh, so he filled one. <laughs> 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 or he was like, yeah. this one for shit, this one for piss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo. The greatest thinker of our generation. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have a Ben Franklin question, but we're going to have to get it get to it after the break, everybody. Okay. Thank you guys for getting to the halfway point of the episode. If you have any facts, you please made it. Them. comment them on the video. Comment on the Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon to get... To get unlimited access to AO Actually episodes forever. Mm-hmm. Infinite knowledge. Infinite pool of knowledge. Also, you want to plug your it never ends. plug your life before we leave? Oh, plug my life? Yeah, for sure. Um, I do a solo podcast called Phony Unholy, if you like hearing me talk. And uh, I also do a podcast with my mom called uh, My Dumbass Mom. You guys should come listen. It's, it's, it's a lot more wholesome than it sounds. Me and my mom hanging out, eating dog food and shit. Eating dog food? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs>